sharing 20 of my favorite finds from the Nordstrom anniversary sale. Hi ladies, it's Erin and welcome back to my channel. Can you believe it's here, the Nordstrom anniversary sale, Christmas in July, the Super Bowl for bloggers. It's definitely the biggest sale of the year and the reason it's the biggest sale of the year is because fall merchandise goes on sale before the season even starts. That never happens, no one does that. It's always at the end of the season. So that's why it's such a big deal. Some people shop this sale and that's it for the entire year. You can knock everything off on your list pretty easily and pretty affordably. So what I wanna share in this video are my 20 favorite finds from shopping in store. Obviously not home, I'm in Denver right now. And I went to two stores in Denver. So I felt like I got to see a lot of the sale product but there's not gonna be all of the sale items in the store. A lot of it's going to be online. So be sure to check the link in the description box to the blog post that I'm doing where I will continually update my picks based on category. Every category from plus size, to gifts, to home, to kids, to boots, to booties, to jackets, to coats, and that will include online picks. So this video just includes the in-store picks. These are the pieces that I've tried on. These are the pieces that I bought. These are the pieces that I can talk to you about fabric and fit and sizing and how it feels and all of that. I'm super excited to be able to do this this year. Last year I ordered a bunch of product and it took a week and a half for it to come in. So I'm excited to be able to share what I actually got and saw and tried on in the store that I think you guys are going to love. Some of these pieces will probably sell out. So this isn't the time to sort of drag your heels and think about it and contemplate, like order it, get what you are drawn to, and then you can always send something back if you need to. So I'm gonna share my 20 favorite finds, kind of go by category. And I wanna start with the coats and jackets. And I think I'm gonna start there because that is definitely like my most favorite topic. I love love coats and jackets, like love, love, love. <laughs> so I'm in the perfect climate for that. Now in Colorado, I wanna share my favorites in that category first. The first find I wanna share with you all is a plaid coat by Halogen. This plaid coat is one of those that I would call very special. The color combination is very unique. It's very bright. It's very cheery and happy and joyful, but then it also has this sophistication about it. It is the perfect blend of chicness, sophistication, but also having a little bit of playfulness. And I love buying a coat that has color for the winter season because I feel like it is so easy to like live in your black puffer or your black wool coat. It's so special when you wear some color, it really brightens everything up. And so this coat is just gorgeous. It's very soft. The fit is true to size. This is a size small. It's very affordable. I'll put pricing below. This one is not to be missed. It will for sure sell out. So if you like it and you think you might wanna add an interesting coat to your winter coat wardrobe, I would definitely scoop this up. The second favorite find that I wanted to share with you guys is actually this blazer. It's by Les Jeans. This blazer with these beautiful gold button detailing on the sleeve and then also on the, um, the jacket itself. It sort of looks purple on camera right now, but it's really this beautiful blue tone that will be such an awesome alternative to like black and navy, especially this fall season. And I love this color and I feel like this color works on so many different skin tones. I feel like if there's one universal color, like it's this color blue. This blazer is a little bit higher end. It's by Les Jeans, and so it's more of an investment piece. So every year I always feature a Veronica Beard blazer and that's the one where you have the dicky that zips in and zips out. This year I'm not featuring a Veronica Beer blazer, so this would be the equivalent of that, although there's no zip in, zip out dicky. I just think the color is dynamic and it's a real standout, but still like neutral, versatile, wearable. I just love it. The third favorite find I wanna share is a brown Nordstrom Signature blazer. It's another really classic piece that I feel like will stand the test of time and this color is just so gorgeous. I am really into brown tones right now. I think I told you guys last year I started kind of building my basics with brown tones. So I already had the blacks covered. Last year I began uh, adding some brown tones, you know, really getting some basic pieces that I love in these beautiful, 
beautiful neutral brown tones. Here's a basic piece in a very versatile brown tone that could replace a black blazer. Like it'll be that neutral and versatile for you. So I love the fit, I love the color, I love how classic it is. I think you can wear this over a dress, so you could wear it just with a cami and jeans, you could wear it over a tee. There's a lot of versatility with this jacket, but I really think this one is a standout and I guarantee this one will sell out also. The next jacket I want to highlight is one by Blank NYC, and I feel like every year there's been a Blank NYC jacket mentioned. This one is a little bit different. It's more of a lightweight draped moto instead of the traditional moto. And what I love about this jacket is just how lightweight it is. It comes in this gray color, and it also comes in a beautiful blush tone. So depending on what your preference is, I already have a moto jacket in a blush tone, so I didn't want to get that one. I wanted to get the gray. But this is a jacket for those of you in those hotter climates where you need something just like really lightweight that you could throw on to add polish in the fall season, but you don't want anything too heavy. And I feel like this just has such an ease and effortlessness about it. It's just a really gorgeous piece and the price is crazy good. It's vegan leather, it's not real leather. So I just think it's a standout. The next piece I wanted to share with you is a Treasure and Bond black leather moto jacket. This moto jacket is stunning and you will think that it is comparable to some of the most expensive leather jackets. It's really that good. If you still don't have a black leather jacket, I think this is an awesome option. And before I move on to the next find, I wanted to mention that All Saints has some gorgeous leather moto jackets in the sale as well. and they have have this really gorgeous pink tone color. It's kind of between a pink and a taupe. And then they also have a black one. I love all three of those jackets, but I think that if you're talking about best bang for your buck, this one by Treasure and Bond is really terrific. It does run a bit on the shorter side, so if you're petite like me or if you have a shorter torso, it's going to be perfect on you. If you're longer torsoed or taller, it's going to be more of a cropped jacket on you. So that's something to think about. And the cropped jacket can look awesome too. You just have to play around a bit with proportion, wear something longer underneath to extend the hemline. The next piece I wanted to highlight is this gorgeous luxury luxe moto jacket by All Saints. It's in this beautiful blush tone color. I would totally have bought this jacket, except I already have a really high quality moto jacket in a very similar color, so it just didn't make sense for me. But if you want an alternative to black that feels very high-end and luxurious, this is definitely it. You will love this jacket. The next jacket I want to talk about is this really cool jacket by State. It's like a long line blazer. It's almost like it's between a long line and a duster blazer, but I love the plaid print. I love the ruched three quarter sleeve. I just think it's so fresh and different. You know, I've talked about plaid being very on trend for years, really. I've been talking about it for three years, and I've also talked about how it's always on trend, but what's new this year are these new, like, little twists. So, one of the things that's new are the fresh color combinations, like with the coat that I showed you earlier. Here's an example of just fresh design details that make the jacket a little bit special, and that is the sleeve length, the three-quarter sleeve with the ruching detail at the sleeve, and then also the length of the hemline of the jacket itself is a fresh take on plaid. And so I just love this update on the classic print. I think it's really cool and I think you guys will love it. This one comes with a skirt, a pencil skirt that matches the jacket. So if you work in an office and you want something that's just really buttoned up but also feels really fresh and modern, I think that's an awesome, awesome combination. The last jacket I want to talk about is this stunning faux fur jacket by Frame. It's in this kind of burgundy tone. It's somewhere between a burgundy and a red. It definitely makes a statement, packs a punch, and will take everything that you're wearing up 
10 notches. You could be wearing this with like a t-shirt and jeans and all of a sudden you look like a movie star. I love this, I think it's absolutely gorgeous and I think you guys will love it too. Just a quick note about the jacket is again, it's more of a cropped silhouette. If you have a long torso, this jacket is going to maybe be a bit too short on you. It's the perfect length for me and I'm petite and I think that you could probably go on up to five, seven, five, eight before it feels like it is truly cropped. I just wanted to mention that in case you want something with a little more length. This is probably not the one for you, but I just feel like it's just a really stunning piece. I love it so much. The next piece I wanna share with you is a Vince Cable Knit sweater. I highlighted this sweater in the catalog video that I did fairly recently. It's just a beautiful, stunning piece, and I've talked about this, I don't know how many years, how much I love Vince knits. I think Vince is known for their knits. They make really beautiful sweaters. It's funny, because I was shooting today, and the photographer's like, well, what do you do if the sweaters pill? And I said, well, I actually have a video for that. <laughs> don't avoid buying a sweater because you're worried about about the pilling of the sweater. It is so easy to get rid of the pilling. And if you missed that video, I did a whole like style secrets video and I talked about how you can get very easily get rid of the pills on the sweater. Vince knits are just yummy and gorgeous. I love this white cable knit sweater and I love the high neck and how it stays up and it's not flopping around. It really has some structure to it. I wanna really address cardigans because every year cardigans are such a big seller. You know, the Leith Circle cardigan, I don't know, three years in a row has been one of my personal bestsellers. And I know across the board, it's been a bestseller among bloggers. Another one is the Barefoot Dreams cardigan. So this year Nordstrom has all of the usual popular suspects on sale. So you're gonna find the Barefoot Dreams cardigans on sale. You're gonna find the Spanx faux leather leggings on sale. You're gonna find Spanx on sale. You're gonna find all your favorite Notori bras and underwear and hanky panky underwear. So all those pieces that are on sale every year that are very popular, those are all on sale again. And I'm not really highlighting those specifically because I feel like every year I talk about them. I just wanted to mention a few cardigans that are different this year that I really enjoyed when I was in the store. The first is this vintage black cardigan. I really enjoy the length of this cardigan. It kind of goes right past your bum, but it's not longer than that. I do love a duster cardigan also that's longer, but I just really enjoyed the length of this cardigan. And like I said, also Vince knits are just so luxurious and wonderful. There's another cardigan that I didn't buy and I may, I don't know, I may reconsider and buy it later on in the sale. It's a Nordstrom signature brand cashmere in a light gray. And there are a bunch of different colors for the Nordstrom signature brand, but that was also just a really beautiful cashmere. It was a great length and it was a great heft and it felt very soft on your skin. I didn't see the Leith Circle cardigan in the store, but what I did see was this duster cardigan by Leith that I really love. And I got it in this color. At first I thought it was burgundy, but it's more like a brownish burgundy. It's somewhere between a brown and a burgundy. I'm really loving it because it feels like it's more of a chocolate brown to me. And again, I told you guys, I'm really trying to build in and add more brown tones to my wardrobe. So I really thought that this cardigan, the color especially, is very cool. But this is going to be your cardigan that will not break the bank, that you will really enjoy incorporating into your wardrobe this fall. The next bind is a top by Vince Camuto that I liked so well. I bought it in two colors, both black and white, or more of an off-white really. It's a Vince Camuto top, short sleeve, a little bit of a flutter sleeve, so it doesn't fit very tight to the arm, which I like. It gives you some breathing room in your arm. It's a V-neck, which is one of the most flattering necklines, and it also has these cool silver grommets along the neckline and then down the front center part of the blouse. I just think it's really just a sweet top. It's very very thin. So you know how sometimes you buy shirts and it's impossible to tuck them into your jeans and it creates like a big poof in your pants, which is not a good look. This is very thin, so you can tuck, 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 and there's going to be no poof, which I really appreciate. <laughs> Almost like wearing a bodysuit, but without the annoying bodysuit part of it. So I got that in two colors. Another top that I really love is a not so basic basic. It's a short sleeve tee by Something Navy that has a puff shoulder and a little bit of a puff sleeve. And it's a lot like the one that I bought this spring that's the bodysuit version, but this is like that top, but without, again, the annoying bodysuit part. I got it in both black and white, and I love the puff shoulder detail because I tend to be quite narrow through the shoulders. If you have broad shoulders, that puff shoulder detail 
retail is probably not the way to go. And I just wanted you to be aware of that, cognizant of that. But I really love this t-shirt, just something a little bit special, you know, instead of just your basic white v-neck tee, this one feels a little bit more elevated, a little bit more unique. And I think it adds a little bit of femininity to a regular t-shirt. So I got that in black and white. And then I just wanted to mention one other basic that I think it's important to highlight. And that's a long sleeve, almost like gauzy fabric, black and white t-shirt. So I bought both black and white and I love these t-shirts. They're crew neck. The reasons that I love them are number one, the fabric really soft, a little bit stretchy, very thin. Again, not adding bulk when you tuck it in or layer it. They're perfect for layering, number two. I mean, you can wear them under a blazer, you can wear them under a jacket, you can wear them under a sweater. You're not gonna be overheated, but you still have that second layer. And number three is the length. So sometimes you buy a layering tee and it feels like it's just a hair too short. I mean, this one, I could really pull it all the way down almost to my knees. Maybe that's an exaggeration. Maybe it's more like mid-calf. I think the length also makes it a perfect layering tee. So I wanted to mention those. I wouldn't necessarily say that's like a favorite. I just wanted to mention that one because I think they are such great basics. The next piece I wanna highlight is actually an accessory. It's a treasure and bond fedora hat. I love this hat. It reminds me of a hat I bought last year by Rag and Bone, but you've got the same concept for a fraction of the price because the Rag and Bone hats are quite expensive, even on sale. So I just love the Python band in the hat. I love the color of the hat. Again, another brown tone. It's just a really cool hat. For me living in Colorado, I love hats like this. I love hats anyway, but it's such a slam dunk for Colorado, I feel like. So maybe if you live in New York or New York State or you're in the Midwest or out West, I feel like it's just a really cool hat to have. And I do think that hats, when you wear them out and about running errands, it just like your whole outfit is gonna look so much cooler. And then of course, it also protects you from the elements. So if it's raining that day or if it's snowing a little bit, it keeps your hair dry. Next, I wanna to skip to jeans or a couple pairs of jeans that I wanted to share with you guys. The first is a pair of Lejeune's dark wash skinny jeans that are ankle length. And I wanted to highlight these because I think they're really flattering and they're a great basic. But also, if you're on the shorter side or more petite side and you like to buy jeans that really do fit the length of your legs, these jeans are perfect. If you're taller, you can still grab these jeans. It just means they're going to be a little bit higher on you, giving you room to wear a really cool pair of booties or shoes. So they're really gonna frame that pair of booties or shoes for you. So it doesn't mean it's a deal killer if you're taller, it just is going to be a totally different look and a different fit on you. For those of you that are petite like me and you have a hard time finding jeans that really fit you in terms of length, you will love this pair of jeans. The other pair of jeans I wanna talk about, and you remember, you guys, I talked about in the catalog video, the resurgence of the flare jeans, and I was so excited to see them back in the catalog. So I did pick up a pair of flare jeans by Good American. What I love about Good American jeans is I think their pocket placement in the behind is so good. It really does make your butt look smaller and more lifted. I also think that the denim itself is so soft and stretchy. It really feels almost like you're wearing yoga pants, but you're really wearing jeans. <laughs> They make some really great jeans, I gotta say. And I think you guys will love them. And they're very size inclusive. You really can get a pair that fits you well, no matter what your size. The other thing I wanna mention about Good American Jeans is they do run a bit large. Let's say you're typically a four, you're probably gonna wanna go with a two. If you're typically a 16, you're probably gonna wanna go with a 14. And they're very stretchy. The great thing about Good American Jeans though is that they're stretchy, but they don't stretch out to where you feel like, oh gosh, these jeans have lost their shape already. I've only worn them for like two hours. They definitely retain their shape. So I love these flare jeans and I love that the way that they fit and the way that they flatter and the way that they kind of lift the bum. There's a little magic trick going on there with the behind. The next favorite I wanna share is a midi skirt. It's a black silky midi skirt. Now I've talked about this as well. It's really hard 
to find skirts that are longer, that are also very flattering. And I feel like especially as you get older, you want some more length on the skirt. I do anyway. It can be very difficult to find because I don't know why, but skirts tend to be really short and so do dresses in a lot of cases. And so it was really refreshing to find this skirt that's midi length, even longer than midi length really. And it's a, just a cool basic, especially for us over 35. I feel like this is a really cool, awesome basic. Like you could wear this everywhere from like dinner parties to the office. It has a lot of versatility. There are a couple other skirts in the sale. There's one that's a Python print that I saw. And then there's another one that's a leopard print. I decided to go with the black silky option just because I thought it would be more versatile. And I also already have a leopard print free people skirt that's very similar to the one in the sale. And then I also just got a Python skirt that I showed you guys in the Nordstrom capsule wardrobe video that I did just a couple weeks ago. So I wanted to just make mention of that. So if you're like, well, why didn't Aaron pick out these cool animal print skirts? That's why. So there are two animal print skirts in the sale, one leopard, one python, and then this really cool black silky skirt that I wanted to show you guys. The next favorite I wanted to highlight is this gorgeous brown floral print Sam Edelman dress. And I did highlight this in the catalog video and I said I was really excited to see it because it's a very sophisticated floral print. I feel like it's hard to get floral prints right. I loved the brown tone. Well, this dress did not disappoint. It is really stunning. The fit is fabulous. I love all the little details, the shoulder ruffle, the little tie in the front, the high-low skirt, the flowy skirt, the cinched waist. It's just beautiful and it's so lightweight that it is really ideal for layering too. So if you wanna layer something over it, you can. And this is gonna look just as good with flats as it is with knee-high scrunched boots, as it is with booties, as it is with pumps. Really sky's the limit with the shoes. As long as it's a fairly neutral color, I think you can get away with it. But I really think this dress is a special piece. I think you guys will really love it. I think it's a very tasteful floral print. The next favorite I wanted to highlight is a pair of Blondo waterproof python booties. And this was one of the pieces that I knew as soon as I went into the shoe department, I wanted to see, and I was so happy to see them in the store. They're absolutely gorgeous. They feel so good on, they're comfortable. And remember, all the Blondo boots are waterproof. So if you live in a place where you get snow and sleet and ice and rain and any kind of inclement weather, these are really terrific to have. They do have a U-shaped detail cut out along the sides. And I know that sometimes that presents an issue with socks. And so what you can either do is wear no-show socks or just a little ped. I mean, no one's going to call the fashion police if you have a little tiny ped peeping out, but it's a really, just a really sweet booty. I love these so much. There are a couple pairs of Vince Camuto booties that I wanted to highlight every year. There's a great pair of Vince Camuto booties, but there's a couple that I really enjoyed. One is almost a Western inspired booty that comes in a few different colors and I tried those on too and those are really comfortable. And the other is the every year Vince Camuto has the shoe booty, the shooty, where it's peep toe and it's got some sort of cool cutout. They have another one this year and here it is. This one I really love. I think it's just really cool and modern with all this laser cutout detail. I love this kind of smoky gray color. It's like a between brown and gray. So I feel like this is just a really great neutral color. And I love, again, the shape of the heel. I love the laser cutouts. I love these shoe booties. And you know, you guys know Vince Camuto makes really comfortable booties. It's the type of booty where you could really be on your feet for a while and not even worry about it. The next favorite that I wanted to share with you guys are some necklaces by Goriana. Here's one of them, so pretty and dainty and lovely. This is a piece you could wear every single day. Last year I did a lot of Argento Vivo, so it'll be really interesting to see what's available online with that line. But I didn't see a ton in the store that I loved by them, but I was really taken by these Goriana necklaces. There's the one I'm wearing, then there's this really simple disc pendant with little crystals around it. It's very elegant and versatile too. And then the third one I wanted to show you is this longer pendant necklace with these little rectangles at the bottom. What I love about this is it is adjustable with this little ball. You can adjust the length of the necklace. So if you want it to fall 
way up here you can if you want it to fall just below your bust you can do that that's kind of the sweet spot so you can adjust it depending on where it falls on your body which is really awesome haven't seen that much so i really enjoyed that and the last find that I wanted to highlight is a beauty pick, and that is this palette by Charlotte Tilbury. I'm always on the lookout for little travel eyeshadow palettes because I have a lot of eyeshadow palettes, but they're all huge. And so I loved the size of this one. I also love a few of the colors. I almost never love all of the colors in a palette, by the way, but this one is just really beautiful. And what I love about Charlotte Tilbury's colors and palettes is that they're very pigmented. So you just put a little bit of shadow on your eyes and it really packs some color punch. And these are all very neutral colors. There are a few that have some shimmer, but mostly they're matte and they're all very peachy brown tones. This reminds me of the Naked palette just like this, the same, about the same size that I used to bring on every single trip, but then it fell and I broke it. And so this is gonna replace that. So I love this. Oh, and I got the Charlotte Tilbury Supermodel model bronzer because I bought that last year and then it got confiscated when I was flying over to Europe. So those are the two beauty purchases I made. There may be more to come, but that's it so far. So those are my 20 favorites from my experience in store shopping, two stores here in Denver. There are more items on sale so be sure to check the blog. Be sure to go below the box, click on the blog link, and I will have picks delineated by categories. If you're like, where are your plus size picks? Where are your picks for the guys? You know, that's where you're gonna find them is over there on the blog. I just really wanted to share the pieces that I love from my in-store shopping experience. As I get more pieces in, I will definitely review them both on the website and then hopefully here on YouTube. I'll also be doing a video focusing more on high-end buys or more luxury buys like this Glejean's jacket, for example. So be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on that video. And then let me know, is there any other topic in terms of the Nordstrom sale that you would like me to cover? Do you want me to do a lookbook? Are you interested in more basics? What is it that you guys wanna see? Let me know. Don't forget you guys that if you have any questions at all, just comment below. We really wanna be accessible during this sale, really helping you, guiding you, helping you to really make those smart shopping decisions, getting those pieces that you need, getting those basics that you need. Let us know what we can do to help you and if you do have any questions. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.